Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going over the second hotfix update for Forza Horizon 5 which should hopefully clear up a lot of issues that a lot of us have been having in the game. Now I must say that not everything has been catered for in this one but in Playground Games' defence they have got this one out fairly quickly and it is quite a substantial update. So without further ado we're going to get stuck into it and go through each of the points in their patch notes. So first of all, we're starting off with the basics, the game stability. So apart from some various sort of odds and sods that they fixed, they fixed a crash that would occur when loading chapter six in the Born Fast Horizon story, fixed a crash that could occur when replaying the Canyon Expedition, and fixed a soft lock which could occur during the Baja Expedition. Then onto one of the biggest sections, which is multiplayer improvements. And this is, to be honest, covers quite a lot of what people have been really frustrated with. Um, so the first First one starting off here is improvements for an issue where convoy members and other players can disappear. Now note it doesn't say that that's a full fix, just improvements, so potentially you may still experience some of these issues, hopefully less often though. Next is Horizon Open, so they've reduced the amount of races in open racing before a car change, so from 5 races to 3. They've removed the Goliath race from the pool of open races to prevent long wait times after race completion. The Horizon Open Street race routes will now be at night time and they've removed F2 cross country races from the rotation of races. They fixed an issue with scoring HUD in open drifting so that used to sort of disappear every now and again or not show up properly. The Eliminator is randomised positions of Eliminator card drops, so I don't know if you guys play Eliminator much, but as you probably well know if you do, there are various locations that you can go to where you're pretty much always guaranteed a decent car at the very beginning. They fixed an issue where searching for a convoy via Finder Convoy could result in an infinite load time. Convoy leaders accepting a Forza Link invite now accepts for the whole convoy. Convoy icon on player label in the map has been updated to be more readable. Uh, in the Horizon Arcade, which definitely needed some fixes, uh, the score target now scales based on the number of participants, which is really good because, as you well know, sometimes it would just be you on your own or two other players or one other player, and you'd still be expected to get these massive scores. So now if it is just you and one other person, the scores will be a lot lower, so you will be able to do it in the target time, which is great. Really needed that fix to be able to complete festival playlists. Uh, they fixed an issue where convoy members were seeing different score totals. Uh, prioritise grouping players in larger groups when event starts. This is all Horizon Arcade as well. Um, increase the time at which a Horizon Arcade event radius will appear on the map ahead of its starting to 10 minutes. Adjusted completion requirements for some Horizon Arcade events. So that means potentially if you it wanted you to get a million skill score between a group of you for a drift score a drift zone, it's now been reduced to 750,000, for instance. Um, they've also fixed an issue where finding a barn find during a Horizon Arcade event could leave players in a bad game state. Fixed issue where Horizon Arcade mini missions HUD wouldn't show when players uh, next mission start is starting. Added unique icons for each Horizon Arcade game type on the map. Fixed an issue where some ramps might not appear during Horizon Arcade bullseye events. Reduced the completion requirements as part of festival playlist. Made car restrictions for Horizon Tour clearer. Fixed an issue where beating a record in rivals and series rivals wouldn't provide a new rival in the post-race screen. Fixed issues where players could see incorrect points total in Playground Games events when a player left. Fixed issue where no traffic was present for online street races. Fixed an issue with Destination Pim when playing Expeditions and Co-op. And fixed issue with AI cars disappearing when play playing Expeditions in Co-op. Uh, there's also a wheel comp compatibility uh, fix where, with an issue where prompt, button prompts were not appearing for users using a specific Logitech G920 wheel. There is also some fixes for various exploits. So this isn't as big as when the first hot fix when obviously glitching and exploiting was quite big. So there's only a couple on here. They fixed an issue where players could tune their car to a higher class before starting a race. Fixed an issue where times from blueprint events could be uh, erroneously posted to the leaderboard for the race at that location and fixed an issue where players were able to post to rivals and PR stunt leaderboards 
when using modified game speed settings so that's a good one because there's clearly a lot of people at the top of the board that shouldn't be there um, some pc specific fixes which i'm not going to go through them all um, but they've just fixed an issue where the pause menu could show two tabs at once when changing focus away from the game and unpausing with the controller fix an issue where mouse input was being ignored in horizon story post race star screen and stop the mouse being able to move the camera during pre-race cinematic there are some car specific fixes here as well so the 1998 toyota supra rz corrected window trim issue and various other fixes to upgrade parts added free roam convertible functionality to the willys jeep and porsche 918 spider on top of that they've also done it for a new lamborghini that's going to be entering the game in next festival playlist so there's more cars that will have a convertible roof option on them uh, the 2018 bmw m5 corrected color in front left brake caliper the 1970 mercury cyclone spoiler stop brakes can't be uh, painted Fix DeLorean logo on car collection screen, reduce transmission wine on stock car audio, and updated the engine audio for the Porsche 918 Spyder. Now onto the accolades section. So they fixed an issue where some completed accolades could reset to being incomplete, which is really good. Because I don't know about you guys, but every now and again I'll come back with less accolade points and you'll have to redo it. Really frustrating, uh, especially when you've got to go and sort of find out which one it is. They fixed an issue with accolades for photo photographing the statues in the El Camino story not unlocking, which I have heard a few people uh, complain about. Fixed an issue where the accolade for taking a shortcut in the final, uh, I'm not going to bother to try and pronounce that, story chapter would not unlock. Fixed raised in the desert, not requiring the player to be in the designated car. Fixed unlimited power description to say unlimited off-road rather than extreme off-road. Fixed ready set go unlocking if player lost the race. Remove some accolades which could become incompletable which required the player to complete a PR stunt in a specific car. Corrected a typo on the A True Advantage description. Fixed forward of the wings where the objective wouldn't appear when pinned. Fixed an issue where Monster Destroy would not complete if the player wins after a restart. Updated the Canyon Run accolades to use the correct name. Uh, corrected the number of air skills required for the Air in a G Wagon accolade. Fixed an issue with unbeatable dirt racing accolade counting progress incorrectly. Fixed money to burn accolade directing players to the wrong drift zone. That's quite a funny one to be fair. Uh, updated the don't break it there isn't many left accolades to inform player of any danger sign they need to complete. Fixed an issue where pinning accolades for some danger signs would not set the route correctly. And added ability to jump to rewards in the accolade menus which is actually really good. Because obviously when you click on the main accolade tab nothing shows. You then have to go into the individual accolade sort of sections and then trawl across potentially hundreds of accolades to find the one which uh, you've got a prize unlocked in there are also some super 7 changes um, where there's just various bug fixes um, so fix an issue where the player could stop getting new super 7 challenges etc things like that nothing too massive in that section um, and then there are quite a lot of general fixes um, so a few annoying ones that i have seen people commenting about so they fixed an issue where the seasonal pr stunts would state that one mile an hour or one foot or one meter more required despite meeting the completion criteria Event Labs props will now appear as the colour variant selected before being placed. Um, they've fixed an issue where players could not see their own events in the blueprints menu. Fixed an issue in a blueprint builder where prop thumbnail would not appear. Uh, added scrolling delay to long Forza Link phrases to help with legibility. Fixed an issue with Forza Link when sending follow me in reply to the barn find request not setting a route. Rewinding during a showcase could cause the game to ignore the offline game speed accessibility settings. Uh, added ac accessibility option to progress Horizon stories without completing the preceding challenges. Fixed Hall of Fame banners not prioritising friends who had joined the Hall of Fame. Fix various bad fast travel points which could leave the player stuck. Fix an issue where the Luga Tranquilo player home could not be locked, become locked again after having purchased it. Fix player labels showing the wrong PI on the map. Marathon icon no longer overlaps the horizon street scene outpost icon on the map. Change map filters to include the eliminator map icon under multiplayer events rather than festival sites. 
Fixed camera clipping through scenery during post-race results cinematics, which is quite funny, that one, when there's a massive hole in the world uh, as you've just finished the race. Fixed issues with clipping on various clothing items. Fixed issue with price displaying incorrectly for cars and premium cars. Fixed an issue where the festival playlist displayed more points earned than are achievable. Fixed prestige stars not appearing online in online leaderboards, which is quite a good one. Added the ability to view eligible cars on seasonal PR stunts in the festival playlist screen, which is really useful. Otherwise, you're having to go and manually search for the specific category of car to complete a certain challenge in. Made the final checkpoint in street race events visually distinct from normal checkpoints. Made it so that the add layer feature in the livery editor now correctly adds the layer to the top of the stack. Fixed achievement tracking for the unlimited prowess achievement. Fixed an issue where players were able to skip the whole race in Chapter 2 of Luca del Caretas. Don't know if I pronounced that one right. Fixed an issue where the radio could be turned back on after turning it off. <laughs> Fixed uh, updated fast travel message from the pause menu to correctly inform player it will take them to a nearest festival site. Fixed an issue where players could be switched from manual to automatic gears after a cutscene. So there you have all of the updates in this hot fix. Now, like I said, not everything has been fixed. There's obviously no mention of various issues that have occurred with Forzathon challenges. But for the most part, a lot of big ones like the Horizon Convoy, there's some improvements there. And a few neat changes have all been added. So I'd assume that the next hot fix will hopefully come out towards the end of this year in the next two to three weeks, potentially. Um, but if not, I'd say expect it in the new year. But still, that's a pretty good fix. Let me know if there's any massive issues you guys are encountering that hasn't been fixed in this update, as it is always interesting to know. Now, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you out, I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribing massively helped me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.